Now All right. we're live. Now we're live. All right, let me roll the <laughs> intro. I'll explain it. So. <laughs> We now Alrighty. resume the progress. We, we now resume the podcast. They're already in progress. Oh my god! Yeah, I'm not sure what happened. I said, "Yeah, this is what happened." Rich isn't sure. <laughs> but I clicked the go live, and then I saw another thing where it said "go live." I was like, "Wait a second! I thought I already... I thought I already... Dan, we were live two minutes ago, but yeah, well, we, we thought we were live two minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> we thought we were. I clicked the button. You know, maybe you have to click it. Click it. Uh, click it. Twice, but... we're at the Apollo. Totally, totally. <laughs> but uh, Rich will be joining us late. Um, so yeah, we wanted to get things started and look at me. No, you want to get things started. Me and Crow were in the backstage. We don't like starting or on know, time. I I, I, can, I was today. like, what are you talking <laughs> about? They're going to be confused if we don't start at least 15 minutes late. I it's know, I know. <laughs> of course. It's, 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 it's my, it's my fault. But it's like, it's one of those days where I know I got stuff to do. Oh, yeah. I may go a little bit later. Been wearing, wearing this Freddy shirt to kind of fit the mood for the things. All right, so let me go through and say hi to everybody again. <laughs> I don't get the Freddy shirt and the mood thing. I don't get yeah, that. I don't. Are we all going to die in our sleep? Maybe. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Freddy, like a, he comes like in. Threat. Freddy comes into your dreams and he takes things away. He takes away your soul, much like the oh, I see what with he's the Ever Kid Limited Edition. So, so you were know. you were dreaming about the Ever Kid EXP. I think so. Really? I think so. I was all righty. So, um, <laughs> reintroduce I again. I completely forgot about it. Pete below me got Crow here on the other side. How you doing, fellas? I already not hit the button really once. Here. I'm not gonna do it again. <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh. uh, let's say, let me say hi to people real quick. We got Douglas in the house for the, the second time. Boy. Yep, for the second time. <laughs> Dan Nastic, Nick the Toy Collector, Jason, Lloyd JRM, Daniel, Julian, Brad DL, Scale Tricks. Gig footage. Daniel, Mary just said hi. So I say I have some people twice. It's okay. Snake Eater, fan of fiction. Uh, Kessenance. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Oh no, that's Cessna Ace. Cessna Ace. Cessna okay, Ace. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, I used to. I, I watch this. I'm sub, I'm sub to him. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. And then Chris Sheridan. All right. Now we're all caught. Now we're all caught up, <laughs> despite my fumble. All right, so how's everyone? How's everyone doing? We're good. I'm good. Good. You're having nightmares. We know this. Oh yeah, yeah we know oh, you're yeah. dreaming. Oh, yeah. You're dreaming. You're you're having a battle in your dream. You're a dream warrior. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, it's affected me. In, you should call Dokken or Doken, and maybe they can help you out with some uh, really cool '80s theme music. Um, <laughs> now things are good. I go on holiday on my, Monday's my last day of work for the holidays, and I'm gone for a month, so it's awesome. Nice. That's excellent. I see. I take my holidays while I'm at work. That way, it seems like I'm always on vacation. Yeah. Ah. I was really kind of hoping that I'd have a an EXP in my pocket next week, but that yeah. doesn't seem likely. Well, you still could. Well, it's funny because I did order the white one, obviously. Um, yeah, I knew. I knew. I got I was the shipping. Like, well, I was telling you, I got the shipping thing three days ago, and it's still in England based on tracking. I'm like, oh, Royal well, Mail. Sometimes the tracking stuff. just doesn't. Sometimes the tracking doesn't work right because sometimes it yeah. just misses a scan or something, you know? Yeah, but you know what, though? Yeah. At the end of the day, first world problems, right? Yeah. Like, I saw the article. I never even thought about making a video on it. I know all of you did, but I was like, oh, I just okay. took my <laughs> cell phone and pointed it at the screen and made a video. And I said, I was thinking, I'm like, this can't be real. Like, is it April 1? Like, this, who steals? Apparently, like, um, like those... Uh, sh uh, truck robberies like that are pretty common in i England. know i just searched it on the web and there's like every couple of years there's a robbery of like con uh, uh, video game consoles i'm like is this yeah. a guy richie movie a really bad like, guy uh, Ritchie yeah, movie? I, I know when the switch was out and it was in short demand but a whole truck full of those was ps5s stolen. got stolen in england yeah. um wii's got stolen there's tons of articles about lollies I love what they call their trucks over there lollies yeah. lorries yeah. lorries yeah. lorries lorries yeah lorries <laughs> We call our Johns and Bens in Canada, but 
or Doug's. <laughs> or Doug's I just call them trucks. The delivery. Yeah, truck. it's just it's really <laughs> unfortunate. But anyway, we'll we'll talk about that. But no, the week's been good, man. We I I just did a thousand subs on my channel. How cool is oh, that? Oh, cool. Yeah, Congrats. that's awesome. Hooray, Pro wait, doesn't watch got... my channel, so. This is how I, I watch your thumbnails. That's good. Luck you watch my, it's like, yeah, no, nah, I don't want to watch that. <laughs> but yeah, I think no, it's to be honest, of, uh, I'm like, yeah. I'm like so far behind on videos, so I kind of like yeah. kind of skip around. So I want to thank then... anybody who subscribed to me in this chat. Thank you. But it's my Evercade content has been quite strong in the I've only had the channel for three months or four months, but Evercade content's really driving a lot of the views, which is really cool. They got the strongest retention too, which there that's you why go. I to make it. But yeah, so <laughs> oh wait, I can't make this go away. <laughs> it's stuck there. It's stuck. Yeah. There we go. Apparently, <laughs> my sexy my sexy fingers is uh is attracting a lot of uh, people to my channel. So you know, <laughs> I think I'm going ball. to have to insure my my fingers through Lloyd's of London. And I must say, based on all the finger YouTube channels out there, there's a lot of people who do the content I do, like with just their hands. They got some ugly looking gross fingers. Like, okay, can you just clean your fingers up a little bit, people? Well, you know, you could always like there's always a solution to a problem and you could always get those latex gloves. Yeah, but my fingers are really nice. They're stubby little fingers. <laughs> I keep them trimmed nice. I'm just saying. Mm. Oh, I bite my nails sometimes, so there's I don't a one channel to... <laughs> that's massive that does this like, you know, hand content. <laughs> Call it hand content. Dude, just please, please trim your nails. Or clean I wonder the dirt if there's, from under your nails. I wonder if there's a YouTube channel called Hand Content. Julian D, is Pete banned from the video due to the lack of a beard? Yes. Beards only. No, Julian, because they're scumbags on YouTube. That's why. <sighs> I do have a beard. I have a goatee. Well, I think he he's like saying, like, is it in that picture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not in the picture. You can yeah. just Photoshop that in, you know. Yeah, I'll just put a beard on there. <laughs> yeah. But that's that's <laughs> awesome that your channel's been doing so good. I've, I know I've been picking up. I've been picking up some subs. I'm inching up there to the to the one K mark. You'll get there. The content will drive the people there. Oh yeah. As long Crow, as how was your week, buddy? My week it was interesting. I've been just playing through the Commodore sixty four collection, or the, not? Sorry, it's the C sixty four collection. I can't use the Commodore name, but uh, mm. I'm on. Um, I'm uh, more than halfway through it, but uh, yeah, I had to learn how to play uh, Eridus Alpha, so that was fun. <laughs> so much fun. Well, at least, you know, I'm at least I don't, you know, I know on some of that C64 collection, I know I could have been harsh, but when, uh, when you know, Metal Jesus did his, you know, when he, when, he, when he did his video, the XP and his unboxing, and he said he was a big Commodore fan, and he's like, those aren't the games I would have picked. Then I felt kind of okay, good. Well, here's the thing. I got a bonus that... pick with that video, that Metal Jesus video. <laughs> There's some misinformation well, in it, and I he seems so disinterested in that video. In I actually have it. not seen it. And um, really, but the thing yeah. is, is like I noticed that in the UK in Europe, the titles that they had played at, for the C64 is completely different than what we played in the US. And yeah. I, one part of the reason for that might just be because. Uh, here, like we almost had like a the disc drive standard, the five and a quarter floppy disc drive. Whereas in Europe, they, they usually use the cassette tape. That yes. was, uh, yeah. it was very rare for them to have the disc. Um, so I guess I wonder if that was part of it. Uh, but yeah, like here, like all these electronic arts games were big, but uh, we're not going to see any of those on the Evercade anytime soon, I don't believe. But but you know the epics games too. All of those games I've heard of, but like anything outside of the epics games, I really hadn't. You think most? I want to say probably most or a lot of YouTubers' videos are scripted. Um, Did you know for that? Me, for me, a lot of my videos are scripted. <laughs> for me, personally, I'm reading I, off a script right now. <laughs> so I don't, do, I don't do it because <laughs> it, it, it would feel. I would feel like I'm in the office at work. You know. Yeah, I can't script my YouTube. Yeah, I can't. I have to because I whenever I do it ad libbed, especially like some of them I'll I'll uh, I won't write a script for, but some of them where I'm talking about a game, I need to write a script because if I don't, I know I'm going to forget something. Yeah, but Metal G G G's rocks is like it just he had some misinformation. I think he's still not recovered because it just felt forced his video, uh -huh. um, and they didn't show like a lot of the, a lot of games being played. Um, I think probably one of the better reviews, it was probably uh, Mad Little Pixel seemed to go really in-depth 
but I've noticed they've all picked up on the same thing as a negative, which is kind of interesting. You, is this um, specific to the EXP? Oh, the or is this, yeah, the EXP, yeah. And the button remapping, I don't buy it as a negative. It's like, you know what? Like, you know, it, it is what it is. It's like, this is the choice they've made as, as a console developer and whatever. And that could be updated via software or whatever. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure we'll get the, um, I just felt like, yeah, I, I guess it, it felt like this is the first time they've touched the Evercade ecosystem since their last review on the VS for a lot I of mean, them. Yeah, and it feels very... Case very disjointed and forced and a lack of passion in all the ones I watched. It's like, they all felt really the same. It's like, Oh you know, yeah, that's, this, I, I forgot. I got this come in last time I touched it was six months ago. And yeah, more you. than likely that's just the case, but it's also primarily because they're so busy with other things. So yeah. like they don't really have time to do yeah. anything other than YouTube or whatever they're currently working on for YouTube. That's the deal. I, I, you know, I, I enjoyed him. I like I like John Hancock in, in particular because I know he's like he likes to have like physical media and stuff. And but uh, it was neat to see other people's things. Well, one thing I do want to talk. Oh, bro, oh, ooh, ooh, yep. Okay, that's yeah, that's coming down the line. So I think. Oh wow, that is coming. Okay, that's gonna. Okay, I that's thought gonna... I thought they told that. I thought yeah, because I thought the Mad Little Pixel said to mention. Said yeah. that yeah. I, yeah, I don't know. I kind of stopped watching a lot of them after about ten minutes. <laughs> like. <laughs> I'll wait till I do my own. Oh hey, hey, this is welcome to the show. All right. Oh, Sean and Ryan are both in the in the chat. Yeah, yeah, too. yeah. They're so, all nervous over there because England plays at eleven a.m. in the World Cup, so they're all nervous over there. Oh yeah. Oh, is that still so going on? So yeah. let's so so let's so let's talk <laughs> about it. Yes, I'm calling it. I'm Evergate. Calling it Evergate. That sounds yes. like a great name for a channel. I know, right? It's like someone ever gators, <laughs> ever haters. Yeah. Well, so here's so here's one thing like that <clears throat> that I don't. I think whoever did do this to pull off the heist, I don't think that they knew what they were stealing. And I'll see. I'll, I'll hear your all opinions a moment because if it's a PS5, if it's an they're Xbox, customers, like criminals ever, they don't know what they're stealing. Yeah. Well, because the funny thing is, the jokes oh. on them because this is going to be difficult to offload. It's a you know. It's a niche item. I mean, really, the only way I could see them getting rid of it would have to be something like an AliExpress because all of us in the community, we know about it. But here is so here's one good thing for to happen to this. Anybody who is a scalper that bought an extra one to sell on eBay, now this has been ruined for them because there's no way well, to know if it's a stolen one or not. Like, I don't, no one wants what to touch it. They probably this do. If it's not from a just, reseller. They, they just sell it out of the back of the van. They pull up the people, hey, you want to buy this thing? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And then they didn't pay anything there. to get it. I was trying but, to find the news story on local English uh, news websites. I haven't been able to find it yet. Luckily, luckily, no one was hurt. But there is one really. Here, here's what I find to be one really disgusting thing that was almost as disgusting as the crime. And I don't know if people were doing this just to get attention. I forget who shared it on Twitter, but I kid you not, some people were were trying to claim that's why I put Evergate that this whole thing was made up for delays, wanting refunds. I'm like, really? Why oh, would yeah, other there's tons do of that. You know, it's funny is my wife, do do. when I told my wife about that, she, she said the same thing as a joke, though. She knew yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. That's like, the oh. nature of the world right now. And it's that I've seen a lot of those comments on my videos and a lot of comments is like, oh, this is a Miko 2 or yeah. this is this, this is that. And you know what it is? <laughs> it's just people who don't know how to deal with disappointment and they have to vent crazy stuff. Like, you know yes. what? I can't say for 100 percent sure that. Like, you know, like, that's why I was looking for articles. I want to know, like, what the police are doing, what Scotland Yard's doing, whatever, right? Like, I want to know that. But um, it's just interesting that <laughs> every five years in England, there's a major robber, robbery of video game consoles. I'm like, yeah, someone did, get you, on that. did you find a, a, an article specific to this one? Or no, no, I haven't. I haven't really looked okay. that much. I don't know a lot about local English news. But I was just looking to see if it's got picked up by the local news, right? Because we've covered it, like... You've seen in North America all the video game sites have covered it, like PC yes. Gamer and Kotaku. Really? And I, I haven't really been. Yeah, there's but been a lot. I saw the email. Something over the uh, Associated Press or something, right? I work I in. Saw I the... work in. I work in. Uh, I work in media. I'm in the news business. So uh, yeah, I, well, yeah. I haven't heard about it yet. Huh. Well, but yeah, I saw. So... I heard about it through Discord, and then I got the email, and then that was but, pretty but here's much the it. Thing. I mean, it's like this is so niche, so it's like. I don't con condone stealing or theft in any way, but if you're going to do that, why would you, Ed? <laughs> you know, no, because but, why no, of would you? Not. Why would you need to say you don't condone? What are you hiding? Because 
because if you because what I'm gonna say, if you are going to steal some, at least do it right. Like you know, they should have like if you're gonna target, do a PS5 or an, something you can reset. Do it right. Yeah. Because <laughs> well, steal somebody else's stuff. <laughs> well, here's, well, just no, here's this. The, you could have stole that instead. You could have <laughs> well, stole here's that. Here's the reason. I'll, I'll tell you why. Because in the end, everybody loses. Like this was an act of vandalism. They're not really gonna get much of a profit. They're not really gonna be able to resell them. And then we just lose like having to wait. That's all. You know what I mean? It was almost. It's almost like they pulled like a huge prank. That, yeah. that, you know that sucks. Well, it's just. <laughs> it'll be just like. It's just. It's just silly, right? But like you can't. You can't assume to know the minds of criminals, because yes. they're criminals. You can't really assume why they make the decisions they make, right? It's. It's just. I think it's. It's so interesting that this key continues to happen in the United Kingdom. Yeah, yeah. It's that, just that's so. What yeah, I, I think it's like it's for me. It's like it's just that's the story. It's like why do why do these lorries constantly get like hijacked? Because yeah. <laughs> I get I get stuck on the first question I asked myself, and it's like, did they know what they were stealing? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you think they they well, would know. It is something that could probably <laughs> unload cheap in different parts of the world, right? I have no so you idea know what I think. It oh, seems so like such a niche product. So yeah, Douglas, I Douglas, remember it. we weren't going to bring <laughs> Douglas. We weren't going to bring this up about the about the family of four in my basement on the chat. No, but, so you know what I think? Here's what would be funny, right? Because the Steam Deck is black. That's black. Granted, there is a huge difference in size, but maybe they thought that they were like you know hitting it. Steam a, decks. Know, yes. <laughs> and the jokes. Well, the, they the look the kind of like mini Steam Decks. <laughs> yeah. I well, that's why now I'm glad I have. I'm getting the, the black one to, to, have, to have that match. Well, yeah. like guys, were... What if it was an inside job? Ooh. <laughs> but Ever it's gate. not like they, the truck that <laughs> the was Ever carrying this sure. stuff. It's not like the truck that was carrying this stuff had a big picture of an EXP on the side showing what they were carrying. Yeah. 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 So, and you know, hey, look, a Steam Deck. <laughs> Douglas brings up a good point. Sadly, some YouTubers have used this negative. Douglas, don't go look at those stupid YouTubers. Like, if you if you only want, if you look at that kind of stuff because I know who you're talking about, just ignore them, man. They're just looking for clicks. They're looking for their hate. That's what hate is. And hate, sorry, I don't pronounce H as great, but hate breeds hate, and that's so gross on YouTube. And well, the funny thing is, like, if you mm -hmm. see somebody like that and you even start to use some common sense, you would know that they were completely wrong. No, there's just people out there that just wants to... There's there's legitimately people who hate every small company in gaming. There's legitimately... There's a community that really hates them. And you know what? I just... You know what? You gotta ignore that. Because they're... You know, they'll peter out eventually. Or they'll self-destruct and, and stuff like that. Like, I choose the path of positivity. Yeah, well, that's the, no, that's the exact attitude that you want to that you want to have. Because here, so because <clears throat> here's the other here's the other thing. At least no one was hurt. Blaze, you know, like the companies has insurance. Here's one. So here is one little bit. Do we concerning. know if it was a armed robbery or just a? It was parked in the middle of the night and they stole it. Because like I, assume, I'm glad no one was hurt, but maybe nobody yeah. could have got hurt. Yeah, because... you know, it's, it's funny. I never even thought about that. I was thinking that oh, they you know hijacked somebody. You know, they yeah, that's what I was saying. Hijack like Sopranos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so here's one con here's one concern of mine and i've seen the, the legit concern and i've just seen some chatter of it so so now at this point blaze is under pressure to get you know to go ahead and get these limited editions that's out, what right? i was worried about yeah i hope and ryan and sean mind. like don't don't rush getting them out like if, if i have to wait till february if I, so I, I want the quality to still be there right like i want to get this thing in a box that i don't want it to fall apart no, i don't seriously. want buttons falling off i don't want yeah. bombs being broken <laughs> exactly being dead pixels exactly uh, because here's pixels. because then because then i will then i will, will blame blaze for one thing if that did happen and that was if they you know and this is kind of another controversial topic if they released it on time like they were going to maybe this never would have happened then i'll then i'll go then i'll go back to the butterfly effect but if it comes out and it works then i'm good <laughs> i know that's kind of a weird that's kind of a weird par you know weird paradox we have to think about these things like if it did come out when it was supposed to in november would we have had this happen would we have not you know what i mean who knows you know the universe is weird like that <laughs> But, um, you know, as I said in my video, I'm going to be an adult. I'm going to wait because of this guy here. All my funds are depleted. You know, I, I, otherwise I would be ordering the, the standard one to also have that because then I would have nothing for Well, well that was the thing. That Christmas. was the thing that changed me because I was thinking I kind of wanted the white one to begin with, but I ordered the limited edition because it was available for pre-order first. So we purposed second wave. Yeah. Perfect. So, so yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, 
I figured. I, I figured so. I, I was I on the fence to get the white one, and when it became available on oh. Amazon, I was thinking about it. But when this happened, Hello. I was like, okay, that's my trigger to go buy it. <laughs> the white one's the one I wanted. So like, oh, I that's for me. Like the black is great and all, but I've always liked the white over the black. I'm that might change once I get them in my hands. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Usually I, I like the black uh, better, but I think it, white looks better. I think the white just looks case. more premium. They look. It looks cleaner. And I think cleaner the pops is, more on that for some it just reason. just might remind me of my DS light. I thought my maybe that's what it reminds me. <laughs> maybe that's what it is. Cause for me, the black, like I kind of think the console, well, I, I like it'll match the Steam Deck, it'll match the VS. I kind of think like your turbo graphics, though there was different versions, you know, Neo Geo, Sega Genesis. But yeah, that's important yeah. to get the one. And I two. normally don't like really like white consoles, to be honest with you. But yeah, this one I just I don't know, I just automatically was drawn to it. I'm like, yeah, the that's same, the it looks same nice. Way. It looks it looks it looks sleek, but yeah, I can't wait to try it. But see, here's the other thing too: is that now, like, I've been really wanting to play something in handheld mode. So I've been playing more Steam Deck, and I've really wanted to go back and play Cathedral. But to play Cathedral on the OG and not have those extra trigger buttons is kind of meh. Like, you really want those extra trigger buttons, especially when you're used to it on the VS. So I can't wait to, I can't wait to try that. Pardon my French. So yeah, that's good that they're not rushing. I didn't think they would, but you know, just had to bring that up. Like, just don't rush them. I just want to. I just want to. I just want to get it, and then when it does, I can't wait to to unbox it and look at all those extra goodies. Because I, for I think for half a second, I considered, you know, would I cancel that to replace getting the normal? No, I want the limited, and it's going to be worth it for me to wait. So I want both, <laughs> <laughs> Mister Collector. <laughs> well, no, I just I, for me, it's half. Of, not really collecting part of it. It's just that um, I, the support. I want to support small companies and. I, you know, I use some credit card points to get it. So, oh, that's awesome. I can, I'm really tempted to get a white VS too. I don't know why, but well, <laughs> see, that's the problem. <laughs> Once you go down that route, then you have to. Hmm. A special purple edition. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, you're welcome, Ryan. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's no, it's just that, like, you know, I've, uh, I've, you know, I've been a huge part of the Evercade community since it started. So. I like their stuff. I like having two. This is also kind of selfish on my part. I like having two of each of their consoles because I, I have a travel version and I have two TVs where I have my VS hooked up. And, and I'm pretty lazy. I don't like just if I'm downstairs, I want to play my VS downstairs. <laughs> and if I go somewhere, I just want to grab my travel VS that I know I've got carts in there that I'm. So like I have my white, uh, not VS, sorry, my uh, white Evercade. I have um, Blaze uh, Brave Battle Saga always in that one because every time i take that collection i kind of chip away at that game like for an hour while i'm transit or something like that so yeah but you know no, no, that, that's awesome I, I can totally believe it or not there have been times where i've been where i've been lazy that if i like had the handheld next to my bed i would have played it because i was too tired yeah i went you know <laughs> i went to sleep no i can no dude i can totally relate sometimes like in different rooms you don't want to be running back and forth i can totally exactly. relate to that that's what i'm excited for the exp because we have all those capcom games built in yeah and I've held mm -hmm. off playing. I was telling you before the show started. I've held off playing some of my um, Evercade in the last couple of weeks because I I really want to experience on the new screen. I want to just you know have that that experience with my EXP. So like I've stopped playing Cathedral and all uh, just because I want to do that over the holidays on my EXP. Yeah. Nice. I'm gonna put retire my yeah. uh, my old Evercades. So They're gonna go out to pasture. I'm gonna send them to the farm. Just gonna hang out. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I was showing this earlier, but I uh, the ex the uh, regular uh, Evercade that I took apart to use as parts for the other one when I destroyed the cartridge slot. I went ahead and fixed it, so it, it's uh, I got a replacement cartridge slot. But then when I was putting it back together, I lost. I uh, I realized I lost one of the buttons. So <laughs> yeah. That's so I wonder cool. if there's a. I wonder if I could just buy a menu button. <laughs> Probably yeah. lots something in there. Oh, so Ryan, um, that's good. Did confirm that on the list lineup. Oh, so that's <laughs> what's I'm going to do. Cardstock. Uh, well, well, that's so what that's... I mean. Like, put out the carts, man. Go to town. Like, put out fifty collections. You know why? It's revenue. It's revenue. It's games. There's no shortage of video games out there. There's no shortage. Go, go to it. Nobody's stopping. Yeah, by that. By that point, you could just buy a couple pieces of wood and build a shelf that goes. Yeah, Ed can, don't worry about Ed's no. uh, Ed's uh, stability of his coffee table he got over there. Like you know, just put it. Put it. This is why I say, like you know, people always. This is something that annoys me in our community. 
And I've always been the opposite. I want as many games as you can produce. I don't give a, I don't give a crap if you put a thousand collections. But there's people that they're saying, no, be curated, be curated, be curated. Yes. I got something to tell you. If you want to be successful in business, that's the wrong approach. Because Nintendo doesn't say we only put out 100 collections, 100 games every year. Microsoft and Sony, they said, you know what? If there's a thousand games that are possible on our system, put them out. If there's 2,000, put them out. Let the people choose which ones they want to buy. And I think Evercade, I appreciate the curation in that. But if you have an opportunity to put out 30 collections next year, do it. Well, yeah, because even though you know, some, there might be games that you consider bad, there are people that are enjoy, that like enjoy playing those games. Yeah, and, and it's all about enjoyment. And and I, you know, I sometimes here's, here's get the enjoyment reason. out of playing bad games. You know? yeah, so, like, I'll tell you why they don't want to do that, because I fall at that opposite end, is that they don't want it to become a limited games and they don't want people like myself to have anxiety who do want to get every single one of like, if it becomes too overwhelming, it's going to be like the switch shop. Then there's going to be, it's going to be over bloated and then it's going to lose its luster. Like I, I think you can't you know, worry about that. as a company. If you want to survive, you can't worry about the, well, the two edges of your marketplace. You can't, but worry then about, you, if can't they, you have to worry about the middle and you have to worry about like, Hey, there's tons of top, there's how many 60,000 games have been created roughly. Right. There's like it's there's so many video games that. out there. Yeah. There's probably imagine if they put out a collection and like they just mass produce the pile collection. Just say they put out 30 next year. Just saying, put out 30. And they put out a collection of this obscure things that we we would never want out. But it brings in a whole new community, a new group of people coming in and say, Oh my god, you put out a spectrum collection? Like or something like that. I'm just like something obscure to North America or whatever. But I'm just saying. Sure. No, I, I, I hear you. Like I'm, I'm, just a firm, one. I'm just a firm believer. Less is more. Like to me, like I like that it's curated and special. Like a matter of fact, to me, I want I want to see games. I want to see better quality games and lesser and like lesser games. But that's you know like the like the Alwa and um, Cathedral. Yeah, but like part. you can still do that because there's tell me there's like if say if they put they could easily put out thirty dual packs of amazing indie games because they're that content's there. Mm-hmm. And somebody yeah. mentioned Shovelware. Jason South mentioned Shovelware. When there's 60,000 games, sure, there's shovelware, tons of shovelware, but there's tons of good video games there, too. I, I think what you really need is, like, a, a good diversity of games. Good, bad, yeah. you know. And they, and, and they do good. And so everything my thing in is, between. So for me, like, I'm like, Blaze, don't have the model change, because there are smaller companies, so if they do put out too much stuff, they can print out too many carts, and we got to make sure to get the product, you know, the quality control. You know, like, we, like we want to have a cart and be able to play it. So what's funny is you said next year, you know, when when the card stack behind him goes double level, yeah, no, I I I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might have to put in a shelf or something. Um, that's funny. We got we got on that. Topic. Well, I mean, double level. That tells you right now that they're probably thinking of more collections, right? Because that took two years to get that collection. I'm just saying, it's like I just. Where like, are your arcade collections? Yeah, where are where they? are they at the end there? Where's yeah, the they're Commerce at the end. Four collection is that the very last one? It, yeah, they almost not that to me. on his camera. <laughs> Yeah, just, I can... just... <laughs> yeah. I can zoom in. Because I know that I've already had to move. Where See, there I was you go. Because I was. There you go. Okay. Yeah, the yeah, Commodore okay, is the newest one right at the end, and then the purple. I could have done because that. Yeah, that purple kind of looked yeah. a little red to me. I don't know why. Yeah, they blend. <laughs> they, bl- they whoops. Loop. There we go. But, yeah, but either either way though, I think you know they're doing they're doing great. I just I don't want to see a Gremlin collection too. Like I legit don't. Hey, what if it's got better games on it? You don't know. Yeah, you don't know, right? <sighs> what if they had Deflector on it? Uh, the C64 <laughs> version of Deflector. Oh, someone asked about the screen. I know. I just yeah. I just have to I just have to rip on I just have to like I just have to rip on I just have to rip on that. <laughs> Same boat as Ed there. Not a PC. Yeah, that's kind of the thing. So I mean, there's, there's they're different because my my thought is that if you if you want that functionality and you want all those and you want all those games, there's like a Switch and a Steam Deck and I don't know. But it's good to have. I think it's good to have diverse opinions and, and all that and you know and all good stuff. So with that though, here's so here's my thing that I do want Blaze that if they, if they can do, I want like we're getting January, we're getting um, Indie Heroes. And then February, March, like get the next two collections. Like I don't, I'm hoping that there isn't going to be as much of a delay. Like not that three gap. I know maybe they can't help that, but I, I, so I, so here's kind of the big problem. And I, and I know they don't have control, but sometimes when there's gap between games and you get something like the Gremlin collection, yeah, the renovation going to offset that. Then it's like you want some more good stuff to play. You know what I mean? And then like Cathedral and Awa, like maybe like that should have come out earlier in the year. 
Like, I, I think what they need to do is put your strong, like, balance it out. Put your stronger lineups right out of the gate. Don't hold it off. But, you know. Ooh. You'll get it, Ed, and you'll like it. What? You'll get it and like, what? Oh, the EXP? Huh. What did he, what did he say? <laughs> Wasn't bad, yeah. Maybe I'm being I'm being harsh. <laughs> Just not for me. No. Yeah. But that's a great thing though. I think, you know, I think you said Crow, there doesn't need there doesn't need to be some diversity. It's just I feel I don't know. When I, when I see those dual cards, like I get really spoiled. Well, that's what I mean. There's 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 thousands of just really good indie games out there that could be dual cards. There's literally thousands of them. Go on Steam. There's tons of them. I own tons yeah. of them that could be dual cards easily. I'm more interested in what their game, their long-term game plan is for this this thing. What, like, what, what's what's their five-year plan for oh. the Evercade ecosystem? Like, what are they trying to do with this? Is there an end goal of what they want to accomplish? That's like, true. I want to know that. It's like, where where is like is this just collections now, or are they going to look at new hardware? I want to know where what they want to be, what Blaze Entertainment wants to be as a company, right? Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo is quite clear what they want to be. They're fighting each other to for market share. What does Blaze want to be? That'd be interesting to find out. Definitely. Oh, he was saying the Gremlins, the Gremlins too. I would like, uh, but he just said I'm joking. Who knows? Gremlins too. The new well, that. That I think what movie. I think what, what, that movie was awesome. That's so oh my good. goodness, that was almost better than the first. No, oh, not really? even close. <laughs> yes, yes. No. <laughs> it had Hulk oh, Hogan. Oh. It had Christopher Lee. Yeah, Christopher Lee's been in some bad movies, man. He's been a paycheck mm. guy for a little bit too. <laughs> so, so yeah, just to, you know, I, I, I want to touch on what you said because I think it's great. But Blaze wants to be. I think what's interesting is I think this. I think this next year is going to be huge for Blaze. Like it's gonna it's gonna dictate, you know, depending on the number of sales, the number of EXPs, you know, especially once you know since we're getting the Capcom collection. Hopefully that'll that'll open the doors where they can they can get some of the big IPs. I think I think this will be the year to help determine kind of what they want to be. Andrew highlighted 50 cards. Yeah, that, yeah, that's funny. Yeah, he did say that a while back. <laughs> Obviously, that's not the end. Yeah. Coffee mug. <laughs> yeah. Somebody on Etsy should make those. Uh, but I, I know coffee mugs can be difficult to to ship out and to ship out and whatnot. But yeah, no, all good, no, all good stuff. I mean, so oh, the Activision. Oh, I know. Give me, give me, give me that. Pick up and play. Oh. They're working on it. <laughs> <laughs> if they do that, I'll have to make a video dedicated to reviewing the coffee mug because I know I've, I've 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 harped on that like for such a long time. Um, but yeah, no, this is definitely good. Oh, one thing because I know initially I thought I heard where with the with the EXP that that um, Tate mode didn't um, didn't work uh, plugged in, but I can't remember what YouTuber they tested and it, and it did rotate the screen. Yeah. And for so funny, so I don't think you mentioned how some of those YouTube, some YouTubers try to touch. I don't know why this really bothers me, but when people call something like Tate mode, Doesn't that matter. like that really bothers me because it you shows know, you that, like you were calling it Tate mode. Did I? Yes, you for did a while. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm the blame. I don't. Who cares? Like I mode. don't really care what people call it. I think it. everybody tape calls mode, it Tate mode, mode first. Like no one owns the pronunciation of that. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a Jap it's a, it's a it's a Japanese word, so I'm like, come on, you know. Well, mm. technically, it's an English word because it's it's T A T E. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, well, it's it is it looks like uh, English, but uh, yeah, well, no, like because, that's because for like Japanese Yoko means the Roman characters. So yeah, Yoko I means I'm, I'm Canadian. Yoko means horizontal. I, the way so I, I want to pronounce it. Yeah, <laughs> I just say, I Japanese, well, I, it's, let them pronounce it the way well, they want. And I'll tell you why, because it's just like how I don't know some of those same people. And again, you can call it what you want, but they would call it like the VS, the verses. But and, and again, it's 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 me being it's me being it's me being personally. I think because of my personal well, life, I'm 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 te you know my job, I'm technical, and you can't you can't like whitewash words. So for some certain like technical well, terms, and think about yeah. it. Yeah, I'm not going to pronounce that Tate if I didn't know it, what it was a term described that the Jap Japanese is in in English language that would need an exante gu on it for me in Canada to look at that E being an uh tate or ta a like that. That doesn't so I when I looked at it, I'm just saying it's tape mode. So okay. anybody who don't know that it should be pronounced tate will call it tape mode and I'm not gonna be critical of them. Sure. Yeah but I, I'm wondering I mean, maybe if I, they didn't if if they didn't do their if they didn't do their research, that's all. Yeah, Alan yeah, John Hancock saying tate. 
date. But if you see a word, I know, and that's, I know, and I, and, I, and I like him, and that and that just that bo- I don't know why that just, that that bothered me. I don't me know, I, him, so I don't like him. I don't say I like people I don't know. I like you guys because I know you. I've known you for a couple of years. I, like <laughs> but I don't know John Hancock. I don't know Jason from Metal G's Rocks. I like their content, but like them? Nah, I gotta get no. Personally, yeah. Well, that's all you well, can base. That's all you can base. All I know is watch. that Metal Jesus was subscribed to me back when my channel was bigger than his. You know what? I'll take it back from John Ancott because he, on my old channel, I actually got to meet him. And he seemed like a genuinely nice guy for the couple hours I talked to him. So I'll say yeah. I like John Hancock. There you go. I, see, well, I John can, Hancock I can actually recover from a mistake. He res- he, res- he responds to my comments. So I like, for me, like, I like, I, I, I like it to be interaction. Did you ever watch that show where I interviewed Crow was on that show? Remember Crow? Which show? I'm one of the um, Amico All Access show. We had John, John Hancock on. I might have been. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, he was a nice guy. I talked to him well before that and before that. So yeah, and I've talked to him at Portland. So I do like John Hancock. And I met um, three times. I've met Reggie, Radical Reggie. He seemed like a nice guy, but I don't know him. But anyway, you could just but call what it. What were we talking about? Mode. Oh, Ed, Ed being critical of himself, calling it Tate mode. Yeah, if if I if I did that, then shame on me. So you know what? <laughs> I no, not shame on you. Good for you. You be you strong Texan. You you call yeah, it you know, Tate mode. I'll I'll mispronounce words on purpose. Yeah, so, I always say to laugh about just to drive everybody nuts. I, I, I don't go to McDonald's, I go to McDougal's. And I mm. eat jalapeno chips and I love it. Oh. Yeah, don't mess with Johnny Dude in the street is these mortal. That's 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 hilarious. But yeah, for me right now, I've been having to like like you know live vicariously through whoever you know, whoever got like the EXP or get orders the EXP or gets one sent to them early. So at least you know, at, at well, I'm trying nice to avoid to all it. that until I get get it myself because I don't want to. I don't want to be surprised when I open. I'm, like I want to be surprised when I open the box. I, I yeah, don't well, wanna... they all got like no press exactly kits, right. They all exactly, got the yeah. they, they, they got, got the standard. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm getting a standard too now. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hmm. I mean it's it's a game console. I think like at the end of the day, we'll do our openings. Like we'll, we'll have our initial responses, but it's going to be like three, four months later before like really good opinions are formed with the system. Like I think that's how I look at it. Thank you. Oh, thanks, thanks true, so we, almost anything. Too, we all, you know. we all, we all, we all appreciate that. Yeah, because well, I mean, it's different because so like you know they'll throw out a video, they'll kind of show all the features versus we'll make many videos. We'll you know to your point, Pete, we'll dive deep into it. We'll look at the screen. We'll we'll look at everything. We'll actually play it actively. You know. Exactly. No, you know what annoys me though is like when uh, when people have the thumbnail and ask the question. What I'll do is I'll answer the question without watching the video, because I know the answer. Why would I watch the video if I know the answer? Yeah, Mel Jesus <laughs> said, is it, "Is it worth it?" I'm like, "How is would it you know? You I go, "Yes," and then I move on. Well, <laughs> that's what annoys me about his video. It was like, "Is it worth it?" I'm like, "Dude." How would what? Why do you care? You got to send to you for free. Like, why are you answering that question? It should be somebody who paid one hundred and eighty dollars for it out of their own pocket could could pose that question, not someone who got it for free. You should say yes, it's worth it because I paid zero dollars for it. <laughs> Is it worth That's it? Funny. Pay for it with well, your own money, and then you can ask that question. Oh, see, it annoys the crap out of me. <laughs> well, it, it's <laughs> funny because like a uh, no, like like just like YouTube thumbnails and things like you know. Annoyed by wife, but I tell her because it's like because everyone's thumbnail. It's like the theme is kind of like a talking cat. Like you have to. So the problem is, we know you guys watch our stuff, but you have to do that to get people to click on it, right? You have to. You have to make it exciting, otherwise, because everybody talking about that movie, a talking cat, the one with one of the bald ones voicing the cat. Were you actually talking about the movie, a talking cat? I know there's like that thumbnail. Well, actually, I'm thinking about like a. Actually, well, there is a movie called A Talking yeah. Cat, and it's but really you know what I mean? it's like, <laughs> you know, that meme that goes around, but that's kind of but that's kind of like the thing though, you know, to click on it, you have to kind of there's two separate things there, right? It's okay, like I think the reviews are good. Like they, the, I don't have any problems with the reviews for the most part, except some of them feel like yeah, it's the first time they even taught about the uppercade in eight months. And Crow knows Crow already yeah. answered that. But when so you ask of... that stupid question, is it worth it? And you got sent the product for free, you know what? Take your YouTube freaking icon or whatever you got there and shove it up your you know because it's stupid you got it for free don't ask the question is it worth it because you don't legitimately uh you can't a lot you didn't spend the freaking money yourself you know to be fair you know the question is not is it worth it to them 
it, it's is it worth it to you? But the, yeah, their, yeah. their opinion is skewed. It's, like, it's they got it for free. Well, they're just they're just giving you the information, and you decide for yourself uh, if yeah, you think it's right. Don't, don't stop, stop making excuses for him, Crow. <laughs> no, I'm just playing stuff. devil's advocate. Yeah, yeah, but, that, but that's but yeah, I, I know what you, I know what you mean, Douglas. Like, yeah, we we do really all care about the product uh, product, and we do we do play it on a on a daily on a daily basis, and yeah. Yeah, Douglas agrees with you. But the good thing though that I do like about the Metal Jesus is in them is that they do reach a wider audience. That's what I so, mean. That's the only benefit of them is like eight hundred thousand subs, dude. You're gonna probably, you know what? If he gets a hundred thousand views, there'd probably be a couple, maybe a thousand people might click to buy it, and that's good news. And it, it helps it helps us out because according to the YouTube analytics, like I know, like Mad Little Pixels video was like rec- was like recommending was like recommending my video, you know, on the stolen on the stolen EXP. So. Any other, you know, any any other traffic, and that and that's why I'm not concerned about getting uh, the EXP later because these these come out, you know, this comes out now. You guys will be covering it. Mine will come out. I think it's one of those things. It's it's evergreen content. You'll be able to talk about it for a while, especially the limited editions. Hmm. So that's all good. Uh, yeah. That's funny. It's this, turn, this is turning yeah, into YouTube cool. game. <laughs> yeah, when I got the VS, uh, when they sent me the press unit for the VS, uh, somebody won that on my channel. I forget. I gave it away to somebody on my channel. I forget who it was. I'll check my email, but yeah. I don't like keeping things that are sent to me. Yeah, Mad Little Pixel is probably the strongest one because I got the feeling that he probably still plays his Evercade a little bit. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, Who knows, yeah. right? I'm, I'm gonna say it, it's good at least that it's yeah that it's out there, and I do really you know really appreciate the community. Of course, they value our feedback and all that. They know we love the product. That's why they're they're subbed us and they come to our channels and and that's why for me too. And I've talked about that's why like this guy back here. I'm not gonna talk about on my on my main channel because I figure people yeah. sub to me. <laughs> well, with the Evercade with us, right? They people I think come to our channels because we cover all the we we cover a wide range of everything related to Evercade, a little bit of the news, nuance with the system. We go in depth into certain collections, like Crow goes really in depth and reviews every game. Like me, I kind of focus on first impressions, just having fun playing the game and stumbling and bumbling through and covering a little bit of news and just having, giving opinions. I do a lot of opinions on the Evercade. Like, so there's like, we have this, our communities, we have like multiple videos a week, some of us, on something in the world of Evercade, right? So I think people people gravitate towards that piece of the content because they're really invested in the Evercade and the community themselves. And and we cover about we cover all the little things, right? Which for me, um, for example, I'm like huge into Playdate and Steam Deck. So I cover channels that do the same thing I do with the Evercade. Because I cover like a, cha- I watch a channel that does everything to do with Proton, for example, the experimental system that for compatibility mode in in Steam Deck. So I want to learn about it. But the big channels don't cover that, right? The big channels who cover Steam Deck don't even go into that in depth stuff. So I like I th- that's how I think the community kind of works in most products. Like you'll get the people who just come once a month to check out the news, and then you get the really diehard people that you build these re- relationships with in the community like Disa and, you know, Phantom and all those. Like, I know every video I put out about Evercade, it's going to same 30 or 40 people in the community going to comment and be awesome and I'll talk to. And that's the cool thing about doing content for the Evercade. And uh, like, no, you know, 100%. And actually, so, no, I, I agree I agree with you. That, and, it, and it makes us feel good because, like, um, you know how there's, like, certain, like, everybody has, like, certain YouTubers who, like, they, they look for news on certain products, you know, regardless of what it was, and to your point, like, somebody, um, when I put out that EXP video, somebody commented that, you know, they said they appreciate it, and they said they subscribed to my channel for Evercade News, and that made me really feel yep. good to be that, to be that person, so, yeah, I agree with you a bazillion. Yeah, and that's what it is, right, like, you know, like, I'll watch Metal Jesus, to, to be honest with you, I'll watch him because he usually posts videos that, about games I didn't know existed. Mm-hmm. And I yeah. like that. And I go to Mad Little Pixel, even though I don't like a lot of the stuff he says, just because, you know, I don't need to hear about taint all the time and stuff. I, I do appreciate his opinion on <laughs> That might product. be one of the reasons I stopped subscribing. Yeah, because he's kind of gross that way, right? But he, there, you look past He's that. a character. 
You know, yeah. I've, 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 I've jokingly said if you met him in real life, that's not him. He's, he's a kid. Yeah, yeah, I know. But he's like, you know, yeah, so, but I, I get past that, right? And I, and John yeah. Ancock, I go to just my knowledge. I want to understand more about things he understands. And I go to a lot of different channels. And that's how I go about it, right? And for me, I hope people come to my channel because it's a fun, safe place where it's all, like, we don't tolerate anything, but, like, we don't tolerate crap, right? We just tolerate positivity and fun. And my videos are, I always say my videos I create very seldom, the mo majority of them are like going to a good action movie or a good popcorn movie. You go in, you know what you're going to get, and you come out kind of feeling it's like, that was fun. I, I learned a little bit. I had some fun. Like, you know, there's not a much heavy content on my channel where I'm like, you know, I'm going through crises and stuff like that. That's how I kind of want to do my, my, it's enough of that shit out there. I don't need to pile on. And that's kind of, you know, that's, that's. I think that the right way our community is like you go to Ed's channel, you go to Crow's channel. We all do different things, but we all have the same theme of fun. And we're in, we're in it because we enjoy the products. We enjoy sharing our opinions. And I guess that's why we do a podcast together too. Yeah. Well, Pete, I think you, I, I, before we get to polls, I think you revealed today the reason people watch your channels because those sexy hands. So <laughs> My fingers. Yes, yeah. my see, you, you should just change see, your thumbnail to just see what finger. we don't know is is, is Pete's yeah. a hand model. Pete, for his real job, he's a he's a hand model. I'm a hand model. Yeah. yeah, he's a he's a he's he's a hand model. And initially, he struggled because he with, with you know with his first channel, he didn't want to do that. And he's like, you know what, I do that for a living, but I'm gonna go all the in. Face it's, it's held me back. <laughs> yes, exactly. So exactly. I do. You could, you could take out. a little. So if you need hand for... modeling for videos, just let me know. I'll do some. I'll do some content. <laughs> Pete, I mean PG <laughs> content. Of course, yeah. Oh God. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so when uh, speaking of interaction with the community, real quick, I did want to I did want to get to some polls and um if uh Pete, if you if if you or Crow have some polls you want to share, we can do that here. Uh, I, I do love I do love the interaction. Some of them are serious, some of them are some of them are silly. Um so one thing I did want to poll the community about because uh, I did want to talk about uh you know Pete's in a, a, a vision you know, for every cast was to grow, was to grow the channels, move it around, you know, move it around each year. Help us grow. And I, and I, and I love, and, and I love that. But at the same time, I was just curious to see what the community thought. So that, I, I figured I would kind of ask and, but like, you know, sure, whatever, you know, are people, you know, they don't, you know, they don't carry their way. Of course I had to put what's ever cast kind of funny 9%, but, <laughs> and then I did want to ask people, is it too confusing 20%? But what, what I love um, that what, what won out because these two were tied was I think it's a great idea to grow channels and have a new host. So I think that's I'm glad that that you know 56. I'm glad that the community. Well, that was my goal, right? Yeah. When I created this when I created this uh, this concept for the Evercast, I told Rich day one. I said I'm going to do it for a year, and then I I said it's yours. You need to do it. And then as we brought on more hosts, we need to rotate it around, right? Uh, I think that's the only only fair way to do it. Plus the burden then of organizing it needs to like it can't just be on one person all the time because it's a lot of work right so you Agreed. know in the new year it's going to go to ed's channel like i guarantee it it has to because like yeah yeah know. and then yeah, yeah. he'll have it for a year and then you know crow if he wants it'll take it and if rich wants it back he can have it will it ever come back to my channel no i'm not taking it back i've done i've done my bid for king and country i want the other people to do it yeah, I think you I'm said in that one, your, your, your watch is over. <laughs> My watch is over, yeah. I can barely do crank cast. <laughs> yes. <we> <laughs> ah, so you know what? You know what's funny that I just I just realized I know okay. I know the I know the true I know the true reason of why Pete hides his, his thumb and it, it just occurred to me because you want to save the hand modeling. If you want to if you want to see Pete's hands, you have to go to his channel. I get it now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I just, I just, and that's why you don't want to host. No, but all, all good stuff. But you know, at the same time, I just want to make sure the community is. And, and, and I, I knew that these two would be the highest. It makes me happier that this one won out, because I, you know, we, we, we do want to, we do want to grow. Um, and then this one, I don't know. I just, again, for engagement, I just decided just to do a silly one, just to kind of, to kind of see. And then I'll get to the main one. How do you feel about owning pets? People, a cat, people, dog, person. I don't own pets. Other, please explain. And this one, I think this was a joke. Um, what, oh, what they, they said, no, where was the, somebody? Oh yeah. I have two pet wolves and a tiger. My pet's not listed. So I don't know. Oh man. <laughs> what if you like, what if you like your cat and dog equally? 
There's a lot of exotic pets in the, in the world, right? People have like exotic pets. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever watch that? What is it called? Tiger or something? I've heard of it. I never oh, watched it. Um, Tiger King. Yes. Tiger King, right? Yes, they explore yes, yes, the yes. fact that in that documentary or whatever it was, that there's there's like hundreds of thousands of exotic pets in the U.S. alone. <laughs> oh, skill tracks. I got Pete's only hands. Yeah, my only hands show. I bet you know what? I'd make a ton of money off of that, doing exotic uh, things with my hands. <laughs> What's Rigatoni saying? He's, yeah, he's dissing on the, on the Oliver Twins. <laughs> you know, he's not wrong in that assessment, because if you look at the average video game review score, it's probably sub six through since they've been since the 90s. Like, I'd say the majority fall sub six out of 10, if you'd scale it out. Wait, who who's reviewing them as, as sub six? No, I'm just saying, if you look at all the video games since the 90s or since the 85, 1985, since the reviews have come out on video games, right? I'd say majority of video games probably fall below 6 out of 10 in score. I guess it depends uh, on yeah, who's reviewing yeah. it. Yeah. No, I'm just saying if you look at just like a just a general aggregate of reviews. Like I think with that, I think what he's saying is like, you know, most games aren't good. And he's probably yeah. accurate with that. There's, a, there's statement, a lot of crap yeah. out there, right? Yes. And then here's kind of the big one because I wanted to see how people could have felt about it. You know, how do you feel about the EXP limited edition getting stolen? I'm adult, I can wait. And then, ha, the joke's on them. I'm ordering a white standard one while we wait. 7% on that one, the adult 131. And then 13% of people, they said they didn't order a limited edition. So, ha. And then, yeah, 49%. It sucks, monkey balls. But I guarantee you they're probably complaining because they, it got stolen. Uh, <laughs> they didn't know they, that's what I think. People who complain about it probably never ever ordered it. Like a lot of people will go on and complain about it and make, like, you know, put digs at place. And if you really ask them, did you order it? They'll probably say no. Hmm. Well, I, no matter how you spin it, I don't see how you could pin it on boys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> apparently, uh, you know, Welcome Sean's modeling YouTube, career isn't, isn't going too well. So. <laughs> I've been doing hand modeling. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got a lot to learn there, Sean. A lot to learn with your hand modeling. Oh, well, okay. So that's what skill checks when he said only hit. And then he said he'd pay. So you'd have at least one person that would watch your, your only hand. Yes, I'd pay. <laughs> oh, and then it's, so, it's Pete's only fans. Yeah, only oh, hands. So here's <laughs> only one hands. Oh, only so hands. Here's one, so here's one other thing that it's, we kind of been joking about this that I wanted to bring up. So, Pete, you have to stop with your countdowns. Why? You know, because like, no, for the for the exp. Oh, the last like, three weeks countdown. You can't play an account on this because I haven't did the countdown. Okay, maybe I have. I just haven't. Yeah, because I was gonna, cause I was gonna say because jokingly people said about that. I'm like, it's Pete's fault with the you know with the count with the countdown. So like, don't do the countdowns. Don't jinx it. Jinx it. You know what you should do. Motion. You should yeah. do the countdowns. But every time you do a countdown, <laughs> give out a random number. See if I don't think everything it. I've done a countdown on has ever actually come out on time. <laughs> That's yeah. true. It's, He's it's got a that curse. power. He does. It's the he countdown curse. <laughs> the curse. The curse of the countdown. Yeah, I'll probably stop <laughs> doing that, I guess. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Of course, all fun, jokey things aside. But um, yeah, well, I think, you know, we're, we're all in a good spot. You know, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna get hands on the EXPs, whether they're limited or the oh, standard. Good. It's going to be good. Yep. It'll all be good. I just want the arcade collections that come with it. <laughs> I want to yeah. play Moon Patrol. Oh, you want the I, what? I Moon Patrol. I want to play Moon Patrol. Oh, Moon Patrol. Yeah. Yeah. I actually got a countdown video coming It's the tomorrow. first arcade game to let you continue for additional money. Really? Yeah. Did not know that. Such a good game. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. What it's is it the music like that you just like it's you know you just I just start like the whole into concept as you go. Of, like the game and when I played it back in the eighties, just imagining being on them like out in space and you know, shooting aliens, and it just, you know, it just, it was just a good experience. It's most, a lot of nostalgia with that game. Yes, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> Douglas, like, no more P countdowns, and yeah. Well, that's the other thing, too, is supporting the company. I mean, there's those of us, too, we'll get, we get all, we get all the collections to support the company, and you never know. It's fun. It's it funny, because, Ed, you didn't think you were going to get all the collections no. when you started. No, that's true, 100% right, but that's. But that's kind of the power of every kid. Then initially, I was like, you know what? No matter what, I enjoy getting the physical media. I enjoy the that you know the collecting. And usually, there's one game that I enjoy for a short time. But yeah, hundred percent right. I wasn't sure if I was going to get them all. Hmm. Yeah, once they had numbers on it, I was in. <laughs> like, I got to see where this number ends. <laughs> yes, hey, do a count up instead. I like that. Do a count up. 
to kind of reverse the. <laughs> yeah, that could be it. Could be that. Isn't that just an episode number? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, hey, you count up. Well, <laughs> but I think, well, I don't okay. think we got any new hardware coming out for the next little while. So I think I'm. No, good. no, no. <laughs> I think we're good. I don't no. think I'll do a countdown for a wireless controller or an arcade pad or something like that. Though, if they did produce an uh, Evercade EXP, uh, like larger screen, uh, I guess I'd probably do one for that. Ever uh, Evercade EXP XL. XL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Evercade EXP XL. Whew, that, that's, yeah. a, that's, a, that's a tongue. <laughs> that's a tongue twister. That's a tongue twister for sure. You're not late, Ellie. You're precisely on time. We just started. <laughs> yeah, Pete just started to wake up. Yeah, I gotta go get a flu shot. <laughs> I'm not, not too happy about that. Yeah, it's always it, it, it's always fun. Yeah, when they added numbers, you know, it's kind of funny because I wasn't I wasn't sure, and then once I did, there was a there was a time where it was difficult to get um, you know, the Xeno Crisis Tanglewood collection. Then I got then I got caught up, and I'm like, well, I might as well. Ooh, yeah, I'm excited a... for the Namco collections. To play on the XP. Yes. And who's excited about trying to use a knife to get the cart out? <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you know what? Oh, I'm glad you brought that. Yeah, I know when uh, Metal Jesus did that. That was. Those were the bigger. Those were only if you ordered like the did the Kickstarter right. That was that first initial batch. Yeah. Well, I be, I believe because you know, it was the first production run of those. Okay. okay no matter okay. how tight it is, it'll never be as tight as the slip cover that's on this thing. <laughs> This thing, I cannot, it's so hard to get it out. <laughs> I figured so because. Ooh. Ooh. We should plug our, um, <laughs> we should plug our friends over at Evercade Evolution. Evercade Evolution number five is now available on Amazon, both Kindle and paperback. Go support that. It's it's interesting because they got Atari 50 on the cover. So I ordered mine this morning. Hopefully oh, that'll nice. be before Christmas. Do my little non- what, what is it called? Because you can't really do a full review in a magazine because then people won't buy the magazine because they'll just watch your video and read it. So, <laughs> but yeah, it's out on Amazon. So go su go support that. It's you know it was a long time coming that one. Yeah, definitely. No, that's that's. I do not. That, or we do awesome. not get kickbacks, but we're just helping out the community. Yeah, and I think and I think to be clear, I, I believe for doing, I don't think they, they don't make any money off of it. They, it, it just covers. Oh, the they can't off. make any money. This yeah. is pure joy for them to do that. I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm glad that if they do make any money, it's probably just covering some part of the cost of producing it. Exactly, but they're like us. They do it. They do it because they love it, not to make money. Which yeah, is awesome. we don't make any money. Yeah, <laughs> which is if anything, YouTube YouTube costs you money. Um, but um, but yeah, no. Funny you mentioned that with the knife because I, I know I ordered like one of the ten packs, but I wasn't the initial. And I haven't had any issues like with the purple one or you know, any of the other ones being, being, uh, you know, being too, being too tight. Um, Crow is... pinball on the original. Uh -huh. How many people you got in the oh, chat? Oh yeah, what am I? Do oh yeah, I think... <laughs> how many people you got in the chat, bro? So I didn't realize I was logged into my other account. <laughs> so this is an interesting question because I've had to like, there was a time where I could play it without wearing my glasses, and usually I only wear my glasses. I'm using handheld modes, like even the Steam Deck. I, I I have my, I have my glasses and whatnot. Um, it, it's it's it, it's fine. Like with the glass, it's it's fine. I think though that um, with the newer one, you're gonna you know the the better viewing angles, the crisper screen, and I do like that the native resolution on some games. Like it, there's lesser black borders, so I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be that much. It's gonna be that much better. I will say though, once you do go to a, like another handheld with a, with like maybe a better screen, then you can kind of more you know more notice it. So. This yeah. was the, we we need, we needed this you know it's it's yeah. it's, it's going to be excellent or you know you could just put your own better screen into the original Evercade yeah. yes bro that's easy so easy yeah. to do it was uh, so I know, easy. right but even like the I only one, destroyed was... I only destroyed an Evercade and I <laughs> it took two, a couple of days man <laughs> I mean even the purple one's better but this you know this is going to be really you know, really 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 exciting I can't wait oh so before we do get to the hour mark um too late I'll start. I'll start with you here. Ah, if I can point, Crow. I gotta, wanna, I've gotta wanna... go because I've oh, got to go. I'll start with you then. Pete. You want to? What do you want to plug for next week? What's I've got your countdown show coming to, uh, tomorrow, <laughs> and a bunch of new stuff coming on Evercade again this week. Always got multiple videos every week on Evercade, so you'll never know what. It's like a box of chocolates. You just show up. You never know what type of videos you'll get on the Evercade. So, bye everyone. Bye, Pete. Cool, cool. You should need <laughs> animation. <laughs> and then there were just two. We'll be we'll be we'll be wrapping up here shortly. So yeah, it looks like you know it's all good. Um, and Rich wasn't able able to join us, which is which is you know. 
Yeah, he totally cool. Life, 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 life happens. Um, what do you what do you got going on next week? God, I can't oh wait. well, I, I'm I haven't really decided exactly. I'm still working on the Commodore 64 collection or C64 collection, but I, over the weekend I might make a couple videos about how explaining how I rank the games, and um, I, I might go th through what I've already ranked and just double check again. Uh, I've changed the way I was going to rank the collection, so I might make a few videos on that. Uh, but it's primarily, primarily the only reason I'm really thinking about it is because I get so many questions asking, "Hey, where's you know how what program do you use to to do the ranking, or is there is it possible to get uh, a link to what you how you've ranked things?" So I'm gonna make that kind of set up and that's kind excellent. Of explain yeah, it. yeah. No, because I've seen you put like you put some of those out there, but it's funny because like some of the collections I wanted to rank you haven't got there. Oh, you know what? I wasn't gonna say anything. I was not gonna say anything <laughs> at all. Because I wanted to see, no, I'm glad. Uh, it's funny, Pete's like, I got, there hasn't been a summon. I got to leave. I yeah, he, leave. he probably knew it was coming. He left. <laughs> He's a flu shot as an excuse. <laughs> Which one? Oh, oh look at this. Even... You got to have it queued up. I know. But see, at this point, though, <laughs> I've gotten so many. Okay. All right. Watch the view count go down. I haven't played this one in a long time. <laughs> You made that extra long because Pete left. No, I haven't played that with like 20 seconds. I haven't played that one in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, it's... I was watching the bar at the bottom go. Like, mm. I was like, when is this ending? So, <laughs> so when, when we get to the final thought, so here's what's funny about that because initially, like, when Ian Hobbies, you know, he was the one who, who, who started that, I would just do that live. And then I, and then, and then would he actually, well, I think, and then you, and then you made that. So I was like, but I think it's like, it's your fault. I'm like, Hey, that's pretty cool. I should just make clips. So you influenced me. <laughs> Who made that? Are you talking about me or? Yeah. Remember you, remember you, you, you clipped, but the virtual cute remember you clipped and then you would, you would play it in your window. This. So we can't hear the audio, but yes. Oh, you can't hear. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Huh, but but you, but you influenced it. It's funny with older clips because depending like my beard can be like in different states. Like when it when like it bothers me, I'll shave it down like that. So that's just kind of funny to see older like older different yeah. clips to me. But yeah, so if anything, it's it's your fault though. But <laughs> I'm like, let me just do different. So you didn't hear any sound effects? Are you hearing no. anything here? Wait, you didn't no. hear anything? No. Okay, then I my setup is wrong. <laughs> yeah. Every kid magazine is great. Yeah. So <clears throat> truth be told, so I'm. If I if I read more, like I'm the you know I'm the kind of person where I may read for information. I don't I don't I don't read for pleasure. I'd watch videos and it just the the way uh, where my brain processes stuff. Otherwise, I would do. But I, I think it's awesome. I think it's great that it's out there for people who want to collect. You know, kind of it fills that gap. Who knows? Maybe someday I'll buy just a bunch of back issues and stuff behind me. You never know. Um, so for me, what I wanted to talk about. So the video that I have for next week is going to be my 2023 predictions, my top five predictions. And there's stuff that I haven't like that I haven't talked about of what I of what I think we can expect from Blaze in 2023. And then if I bring up, uh, I try to bring up a calendar here. So and then for the the video that'll come out like on the twenty on the twenty seventh, which is the last towards the end of the year that I can, it's the video that nobody asked for that I do anyways, which is all my weird intros, <laughs> just back just back to back. I'm like, hey, here they are, just let them fly, whether they make sense or not. And they'll be in order. Like I literally, I just drag and drop them all into Adobe because it's more fun, you know? So that'll be, that'll be what I have, what I have, what I have coming up there in the, in the immediate future. Uh, let's see. Do we have any final, any final thoughts from the chat? Epic. <laughs> Dang it, Crow. <laughs> Dang it, Crow. Wait, why, what did I do? Oh, because you were the one that influenced me to do the, I didn't do it on purpose. I know. That, I, that's what I, was great. That I took it from a video you made. I know. And that's all I did. I didn't even I give him any footage. I just it just cemented the idea in his head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The idea. <laughs> the idea guy. 
Ah, uh, so the defeat for Chris, <laughs> but yeah, Drew video compilation defeat for Christmas. That'd be great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he'll, yeah, I know what you he'll, He's subscribed to my channel. He'll uh, he'll definitely see it. But um, oh, you know, so you know what? I haven't gotten far enough in Cathedral yet to get that. Oh no, no, yeah, the double jump. Yeah, actually, no, I was sorry, I was thinking the dash. I haven't gotten yet. Um, so you get that. Um, what's the name of the of the of the level with like the toxic pink water? I don't know the name of it. All I know is it's not even halfway through the game. It's before the it's before the necromancer, but yeah, you do you it's, do yeah. you do get that you do get that at some point, and then without spoiling other thing. So once you have the double jump in cathedral, there's a few spots where a ledge is just out of your reach that you can't get to. But at some point, yeah, the poison, yeah, exactly, yeah. But you will get an item later on or a thing that will help you get to those level those places that are just out of reach with the double jump, which is great because I'm not going too much. And the cathedral, I love how you can go back and you can get like your extra hearts, extra potions. I think I'm like up to four of them, and it's it's well worth your time. <laughs> oh god, I want to pull string end all. I'd open, I'd open a merch. I'd open a that merch would, store. That's all it would say, <laughs> <laughs> in like five different ways. <laughs> a random Yeah, that, yeah, poison something. Ah, oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it's the it's the it's the poison level. So while we're at while we're running down on a quick topic of Cathedral, one thing I, I do love about that game, if at any time if you all are stuck, you can always talk to like the magician fortune teller guy in the town. He'll give you and he'll give you clues. Like, you know, in in a riddle, so it doesn't give things away. Like he says, like, you know, to get to the boss of the of the of the poison level, he's like, You need two items. You still have to find one. So I, I think it's neat. As a as a <laughs> summoning video as a as a as a ringtone um yeah i can make that happen there's also there's also a plug-in yeah there's i mean there's also plugins you can download clips and then you have to cut it um yeah i could you know i could i could i could make that happen i'm trying to wonder where where would i put that like i guess i could like link it to google i guess i could link it to google drive and then i could just put it in the description of my videos <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny and then someday at a convention just here <laughs> And when he's starting to do uh, merch, did he maybe mean? I think. Yeah, I got to You know what? So what's with so many projects and things? I know, like, for me, if nothing else, I, I am now that I've got my logo and all that, I am going to at some point have shirts available. Just, you know, cause I want one for myself, like going to conventions and whatnot. So that'll definitely that's what I figured. Definitely push that. I need to get on it now that I have now that I'm happy with the logo. I want to have like that on the front of it. So like every Kate effect and then I'm like, Richard Kudosh, like on the back, something, you know, something, something. Hey, Richard Kudosh, there we go. That I heard. I, I, I realized what, what it was doing. <laughs> ah, that I, that, that I heard. But yeah, no, it's one of, one of those, one of those things I need to, I, I need to get onto. It's funny because I know my, my wife's bugging about that. She's like, you should, you know, you should, you should do that. I'm like, yeah, I know. Cause you know, you know. If anything, because you, you don't really make money off of those shirts, which isn't the point. It's just to, you know, spread the spread the word. Yes, ever yeah, you know, coffee mug. I don't know. I don't get coffee mugs. I, I, <sighs> I it's one thing I never use. <sighs> All right. Well, I guess I think we're at the point, and I think we're at the at the end of the line for today. Unless uh, any 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 final any final final thoughts, Crow? <laughs> uh, no. I, I once I figured out my issue, I, I stopped thinking. <laughs> Well then, there you, you know what? There you go. And I am going to, since I have the master controls here, I am going to have us go out on something. Okay. Thanks so much for uh, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Bye bye. Now, do you want to cancel that or what?